Good morning students. Today I'm going to teach you solid laces. Okay, this is the second type of laser. The most commonly used solid laser is ruby laser. Okay, so we know in gas lasers it will emit continuous laser and here the solid lasers emits pulsed laser. That means the output of the laser will be in the form of pulses. Okay, now let's see the construction of it. So, solid laser, the ruby laser contains the active element of Al2O3 and it contains 0.05 percentage of chromium. Okay, so this is uh, formed into the shape of cylinder having the length of few centimeters and it is having the diameter of 0.5 centimeter. Okay, now it is formed into a shape of cylinder as I already said. Now we have a flash tube that is wound around the active element. That is Al2O3. It is wound around the active element and it is given to the power supply. Okay, so what happens is once the power supply is given to the flash tube, Okay, so it will emit a light having a wavelength of 5600 Armstrong. Okay, so once this 5600 Armstrong wavelength strikes over this material, the active rod, what will happen? The chromium atoms will get excited. Okay, so the chromium atoms will get excited and again when it comes back uh, uh, from the, uh, the higher excited state, it will emit radiation. So that is the concept under this. Okay, now let's see the uh, working of it. So in order to study the working of the solid laser, first we should draw the uh, laser uh, energy level. So the ruby laser contains three energy levels. The first energy level is G. The second energy level is H, which is the higher energy level, which is the ground state. And here we will have a middle energy level, which is the metastable state. Okay, so slightly higher than the ground state. Okay, so what will happen using the flash tube? The uh, flash tube of uh, uh, wavelength 5600 Armstrong. Okay, the, the, the flash tube excites the ground state atoms to the higher state, higher energy level that we already know. But uh, that we know the three level system, uh, once it reaches the higher energy level, what will happen? Uh, because of some thermal vibrations or anything, it will come back to the metastable state without emitting anything. So this is our radiation less decay. Radiation less decay. Okay, so after some time, okay, after the, after, uh, after some time what will happen, every atoms uh, will reach the uh, metastable state. Now, what will happen? It will reach the ground state by emitting the laser beam. Okay, so this is the concept of the three level system that we have already studied. Okay, so by, by, by using this principle, the laser beam will be emitted. So the wavelength of this laser beam will be 6943 Armstrong. Okay. So this, this beam will be of uh, you know, hundreds of megawatts. The power will be high in hundreds of megawatts. Power. It will be very high power laser. Okay. And it is pulsed also. Okay. Now let's see the animation of the working principle of laser. Okay, so we all know it needs an active element. Here we use the ruby as the active element. So inside the active element, we have number of atoms in it. Okay, so uh, in the, uh, the both sides of the active element, uh, two end mirrors are uh, attached. So one mirror is fully reflecting and another one is partially reflecting. Okay, and again, we'll, uh, the, we'll cover the active element with a pumping light, which is xenon tube. Okay. Once the xenon tube is illuminated with external power source, it will give it will give some light. Okay, so that light uh, will help the atoms inside the active medium. 
to energize okay and after that if you see each and every atoms inside of the atom will have nucleus and electron so the electron will observe these light from the xenon tube and it will excite the electrons to go from the lower level to the higher level during this time it observes some light okay so once after the lifetime of uh, the electron in the excited state it will come back to the lower energy level emitting some photon okay so this photon is called the laser radiation so this is happening into one single atom so we have n number of atoms inside the active medium so all the atoms will get small photons inside it okay and because of the n mirrors it will hit or bounce front and back in, uh, between these two n mirrors and it will get energy okay and part of the rays will be reflecting or uh, escaping out of the partially reflecting light so this is the principle of laser okay